India inks are different from alcohol inks. They have more vibrant colors and everything. I honestly made the thought I ordered alcohol inks, but in reality, I ordered India inks. So these are the ones that I use personally. They're the Bombay Dr. P.H. Martins. And I'm going to be making a water-inspired one. But these are the ones that I've made so far. This one is my first one that I made. And it's got vinyl on it. And it needs one more layer of epoxy. But other than that, it's done. And then this is the one that I just finished yesterday. It also needs one final layer of epoxy. No vinyl will be going on this one, but I'm putting another layer of epoxy on because when I dripped the white straight onto it, it made it a little jagged in some spots. So I wanted to cover that up with some a, a small layer of epoxy just to get it a, that nice smooth finish. So this is the second one that I ever created with these India inks. And this process for me is usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how much detail I want in the cup uh, for like I said the India inks I use Bombay by Dr. P.H. Martin and I ordered these off of Amazon and they came in a wheel that looks like this so and 12 colors on each wheel I actually just got another set of 12 of colors I didn't have so that way I have 24 colors to choose from I use Fama wood for, for the epoxy um, I do have the uh, amazing clear cast, but I'm not a fan of it, so I don't use it as often. Now, the tumbler I'm doing, I spray painted a base coat of white, and it's already on my turner. So it's a base coat of white all over the, the tumbler. And for... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my epoxy because I do put a light coat of epoxy on the white tumbler before I do anything with the India inks. So, and it's a very, very, very thin coat. So I measure out five milliliters on my little syringes that I have in here. And these syringes I also bought on Amazon, a pack of 10, they go up to... 60 milliliters and they fit right in the tops of these bottles makes it super easy to work with as opposed to pouring it out and figuring out if you have exact measurements it's raining here how's the weather where everyone else is at I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to see comments so if you're here say hello let me see if I can see comments or not let's see Nope. I can write a comment apparently, but I can't can't see any comments. So if you're writing comments and you're asking questions, just know that I will get back to your questions at the end of the live if I'm not able to see your comments. I don't know if I'm able to or not. And my laptop's all the way inside, so so I stir my my epoxy until it's good and oh I do see comments. Yay! Hey, how are you? So, I'm just stirring my epoxy to get it to that good consistency that I wanted at. I have not had an issue with bubbles. Um, I usually put a space heater in here, but it's super, it's kind of loud and it's on my table because it's a smaller one. So, I turned it off for the purpose of this live video so that way I didn't have to scream at y'all. But as soon as I'm done, I will be turning it on and pointing it or bringing it closer to my cup to bring this temperature in this garage up because my garage is not insulated so once I have this good and mixed for the cup itself I'm gonna go ahead and prep the colored epoxy so like I said I use the Bombay India inks and I use the same measurements that I do so five milliliters of side a five milliliters of side B part A, part B, and I do it for all of the colors, and I mix each individual color in their own cup. So, go ahead and do that real quick. And the reason I do this all at once is that way I don't have to stop 
and go back and measure more epoxy and then stop and go back and measure more epoxy. I just go ahead and get it all taken care of all at one time. That way I can go ahead and color my cup. Now when it comes time to do everything to my cup, I will point the camera towards my cup so that way y'all can see what I'm doing. So once again, just gonna stir this epoxy. And this is the process that takes the longest is mixing the epoxy and the colors and all that. Oklahoma City, how's the weather there, Rhonda? It's raining and nasty here, so. I am in Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, my husband is active duty military in uh, Fort Campbell. We've been here since 2007. So, been here a long time. 11 years this year, so been here a very long time. And whenever I mix the colors, I do not let it sit. Like I'm letting the one for the cup itself sit, but I'm not gonna let these sit before I mix the colors in. So my husband wants a water inspired cup. So I'm mixing three different shades of blue. The colors I'm using today are blue, turquoise, and aqua. And then I also have the white out to give it for the straight drops to give it that effect in certain spots. Ooh, y'all had snow? We haven't had snow since the beginning or since last month actually. It's been 79 degrees or not 79, 69, 70 degrees here the past few days. So once I have it good and mixed the way it's supposed to be, it's clear hardly any bubbles. I take the India ink and mine came with droppers. So all I do is I take it and I drop maybe three in there and then I'll add if I need more color to it and then I just stir it into the epoxy. Once it's good and stirred, I like the color that it's got going on in there. I don't know if y'all can see it. And then I'm gonna set that one aside and I'm gonna do my next color. And like I said, this is the longest process for the India inks for me, is getting all of these colors mixed with the epoxy so I can pour them on my cup and all that stuff. And if y'all missed it, this is the one that I I'm pretty much making a cup like this but it's gonna be blue inspired. So this was my second ever India ink cup. This one was my first. And I just love the vibrancy of these colors. Like I said, I thought I ordered alcohol ink and it came in as India ink. So I watched a couple tutorials and there's not many tutorials on India inks when it comes to tumblers, like not many at all. So I was like, well, maybe, uh, you know, after posting this one and everyone asking how I was doing it, I figured why not do a live and show y'all my process live. That way I don't have to sit there and try and explain the whole thing because it is a lengthy process. This is the lengthiest part. Once, once these colors are on the cup, it takes roughly anywhere from eight to 10 hours of it on the rotisserie for it to cure and then I leave it overnight curing as well that way by morning it's good um and as it rotates these colors will continuously change and shift and move and do their own thing so you can never guarantee a pattern with these colors like you might think that you're gonna get some pattern and then lo and behold it's not that pattern at all and you're like whoa but they actually turn out really pretty like this one is just two colors. It's magenta and teal and they mixed on the bottom and created this purple. And then up here I did the straight drips which is why you get more vibrant colors up there. But as they were swirling, they were creating their own unique thing. So that's the part I love most is you never know what your cup's gonna look like after this is all done. You're welcome, Cheryl. I'm happy to be doing this. So I already mixed my blue. I'm going to go ahead and do aqua next. 
Like I said, this is a water inspired cup. So I'm doing various shades of blue. Put three drops of the aqua into this one. Don't look blue to me, looks green, but okay. Some of these colors, like they say they're a certain color, but like there's one in here, it's called bright red. Looks orange to me, I'm just saying. But looks can be deceiving. We don't know what they'll look like mixed with epoxy. Like I said, this one looks like it's got a greenish tint to it, but I mean, water has a greenish tint to it, right? So that one's good and mixed. Set that one to the side. And the final color I'm gonna be doing is turquoise. So set this up to do that. And then we'll start putting the first layer of epoxy on the cup. Like I said, I always do a thin layer on the cup itself before adding the India inks and it just gives it it gives the India inks that opportunity to to really seep in and swirl and create the amazing patterns that they do. Um, I always like to take pictures of what it looks like when I first whenever I'm done dropping or dripping and done applying I take a picture of what it looked like when I first started and then Four hours in, I take a during picture and it looks nothing like the first picture. And then I take a final picture once it's complete. And I'll tell you what, this one did not look like it. This was all dark purple down here originally whenever I first, like this color down here, purple all the way up to the teal. And it didn't look anything like that. And as it continued to swirl, it got that, those beautiful colors started coming through. And same with this one, there was a lot of this swirl on there, and then I added the drips, and it wasn't as vibrant as it finished out. So watching the process of these cups is actually really pretty. Okay, this is almost set up. This is probably my favorite way to make cups right now. I have not gotten the bravery to do glitter yet. I have plenty of glitter right over there. I have not gotten brave enough to actually apply glitter to tumblers yet. I was going to and then I got these inks in and I was like, oh, I'll give this a try. And now I've done two of these and still haven't attempted glitter. I've put glitter on a wine glass, but I am I don't know, I'm not really scared, but I, I am scared of the glitter because it makes, my husband calls it a horrible, horrible thing because glitter gets everywhere in my house. So I have my three colors ready. I have my turquoise, my aqua, and my blue. Those are ready. My white is going to be for dripping straight on top, but I also take these and I will drip the colors that I use mixed in epoxy straight on top as well. So I'm gonna turn y'all towards the cup. So if I miss any questions, like I said, I will go back to the end or go back at the end and answer any questions that I mix. I just want y'all to be able to see the entire process. So this is just the, this cup is just spray painted. There's nothing on it. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to apply a thin layer of epoxy to it, a very thin layer. This one has no color on it whatsoever. It's just a very thin starting layer for the epoxy. And then I'm gonna let it swirl and even out before I start adding the colors to it. Ooh, that's a dog hair. Do not appreciate that. I have three dogs inside, so I try not to let them anywhere near my crafting area or crafting stuff because their hair will get everywhere. There it is. I got it. So That's why all my crafting stuff is in the garage and my cat tries to sneak in here all the time too. So go ahead and get this 
so I'll cover it up. And I do the bottoms of these as well. I just kind of take excess off and I use my hand and I put it on the bottom. So right now, if you're just joining, I'm just putting the first thin layer of epoxy on the white tumbler. And this just allows the India inks to really grab at the cup and do their swirling motion that they do. So now I'm just making sure this is all level and every place has epoxy that needs epoxy. And then I'll take my hand and do the bottom of the cup. really hard to see comments from this angle so if you're asking any questions just know I will get to you as soon as I can now I'm just gonna make sure it's all smooth get any excess off And then I'm just going to let it rotate and flatten out and get its nice, even, smooth appearance to it. Now this cup did have a flaw. That's why my husband was willing to take it and let me use it for this live. He said he doesn't care about flaws. He will if it's able to be seen. He said that the India ink should actually cover it. It's just a small flaw to it. Okay, now... These have been, appl it's applied, uh, like I said, I'm gonna let it swirl a couple times. I'm going to replace this glove just because I don't wanna get it glued onto another cup and it just makes the whole process really, really hard if I keep that same glove on. So I'm gonna get a new glove. Maybe if it wants to cooperate. I bought small gloves, not realizing that my hands aren't exactly super tiny. They fit, but they're pain to get on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of the colored epoxies, and this one is turquoise, I believe, and I'm just going to drizzle it in any way I want. So just drizzle. And it's gonna swirl and do its own thing. And it doesn't matter if it covers the whole cup because I have two more cups of colors that I can use. And you'll see it coming back around. And like I said, it's gonna swirl. It's gonna drip, it's gonna swirl. It's gonna do all those things. So that one is done. Now I'm gonna take the aqua and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. And I'm just gonna go Okay, and my final color is blue. So I'm just gonna let this swirl because I want those colors to kind of come together. And I'm, I wanna see what they're gonna do. So I'm just now letting it swirl and come together and kind of, these inks will do their own thing. No matter what pattern you lay them on, like I could go like this with them and they would still do what they want. Like I'll do this. and they're still gonna swirl however they wanna do it. So I see a large white slot right here, so I'm gonna wait for that part to come around. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. And now I'm just going to let the rest of it come out of this cup and kind of just do its own thing. Now, just because they're blending here, as it continues to swirl and the epoxy continues to cure, it's still going to, these colors are still going to come out in places that you wouldn't think they come out. Like, you see how they're all conjoining together in certain spots. These colors are still going to magically appear underneath that color. That's what happened with my first cup is they conjoin on the bottom and the next thing I know, they were coming out. And then I'm gonna take my finger into the cup and I'm just gonna like lightly dab some color onto the bottom of the cup randomly. And this just gives the bottom color. I'm gonna drip some ink straight onto the bottom as well and let it run over. And then as whenever I go to smooth it out, I'll do the same thing. And this just gives the bottom color so it's not just strictly white. And as it swirls, I'm gonna watch where the white spots are because that's where I'm gonna do most of my drips, my straight drips on. So I'm watching those white spots, seeing where they're at, so I know where I'm going to drip onto the, oh, these gloves. My hands are also sweaty, doesn't help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and the swirl pattern that you're seeing it's going to keep doing that until it sets. So I'm going to take the aqua and I'm just going to take it. I'm going to hold it over and I'm going to just drip and drip and drip. And it's just going to run along the side of the cup and sometimes it'll run right off the cup too. Like that one just did. And as it, as the cup's turning, it's going to turn with the cup. So it's just going to keep going. What does that have a bubble on it? And then I'm going to take the, I believe this is turquoise. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just straight drips randomly throughout the cup even into the turquoise lines that I just did. And all these drips do, they're just gonna give it brighter, bolder colors throughout. So, and they're gonna look like that, but they're gonna end up drying, looking completely different. husband was peeking in here to see what I was doing I told him what I was doing now I'm doing blue drips this is probably a really messy process because some of these inks just roll right off of the cup like that one just did I have a catch-all pan but my pan does not catch all at all like I want to get rid of as much of this white as I can and as it continues to turn it will get rid of the white it will because it, it's going the the colors are going to move around and continue to spread throughout the cup so I'm just going to let it swirl a little bit see see what it's going to do um I might have another blue inspired color on here I have teal I don't think that'll work Hmm. probably do a little bit of white in places but as you can see there these colors are all starting to come together they're starting to make their own pattern 
they're going to do their own thing. Like I said, I have no control over what these colors do because once they are on the cup, they kind of do their own thing. I don't know why, but this, this stripper doesn't work. So. And you'll see the white when it comes back around. It just kind of mixes with some of these colors and brings them out a little bit. And I'm doing the white to give it more of a water feel than anything. Now I probably won't keep you guys the entire time it's curing because obviously it's going to take a while. And what it looks like now is not going to be what it looks like when it's done. Like not even close actually. So... So, and you can play with these. You can, you know, kind of make it your own. Like I said, I got a pack of 12. I have colors from orange to tangerine, violet, green, grass green, magenta. There are, I even have various shades of brown in here. Sepia, Van Dyke brown, terracotta, just brown itself. So there's a variation that you can do with these. Um, these are also used in paints as well. Um calligraphy paints and other stuff so I know they're used for quite a bit I just love the way they do their own thing on these cups so so as you can see a lot of the white cup has now disappeared because the colors are spreading and doing what they want and there's no dripping down here from the epoxy, so that's good. That means I didn't overload it on epoxy. And when it dries, it's not going to look super thick on the cup either. So, add a few more drips of white in various spots. Let it kind of do its own thing. So, I, I love India inks. These are probably some of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, where did you get your inks? I got my inks personally from Amazon. I found them. They're the cheapest. I got two packs of 12s. My packs look like this and they are the PH Martins Bombay and they, they look like that. And they came 12 to a pack. They come with the little droppers, makes it super easy for them to apply. I used India inks. Don't know if that's going to focus or not. So, and these, a lot of people say these are like alcohol inks, but they're actually a different um, density than alcohol inks. So, you want to mix them with epoxy, but you can also straight drip them like I did. Like, all of these bolder colors are straight drips, whereas underneath, where you see a lot of these mixed colors underneath, the bold colors, like right through here and in between the blue and the turquoise here, you'll see a, a mix. Because when you mix them with epoxy and then you apply them, like I'll show you the bottom of the cup. Let me see if I can move y'all. The bottom of the cup, that's what the underneath looks like. It's swirled together and created its own color, but it also brings out those colors as well. So now it's just kind of doing its own thing, and I'm going to let it go. I, I like the way it's looking. It's obviously not going to look the way it does when it's done. Like I said, this one did not look like this when I started it. This is my second ever India ink cup. It finished yesterday. And this one is my first ever India ink cup. It finished a few days ago. I just got vinyl on it. It, it needs one more coat of epoxy and this one will be complete. So these, these are just, India inks are a lot of fun to just play with and see what you can do because I mean there's 24 colors to play with. I mean there's black, there's brown, there's, I mean, and I'm pretty sure you could probably like mix white with some of these to get a lighter version of that color. So 
Let's see here. Is there anything else I want to add to this cup? My husband has an 80 gallon salt water tank. So this, that's where the inspiration for this cup, cup came. He kind of wanted to, uh, play with it. And at first he wanted a galaxy inspired cup, but then he changed his mind because I said, why don't you just get a, a water looking cup since you're always messing with your fish tank. And I'm just adding these little touches of white just to give it some depth because it is a water themed cup. I'm not trying to add too much white, but I just want to give it some depth in some places so that way it gives it some look. And it's going to be on this turner for the next eight hours I will check on it periodically I take before during and after pictures because what it looks like now will not be what it looks like when it's done so I will keep you guys updated on the look of this cup once it's complete um with the straight drips you will have patches where it does look rough I don't know if you can see that but the patches of white on this one have a rough feeling to them so it will need one more coat of epoxy over this over the inks but with, unlike alcohol inks, these won't run whenever you apply another coat of epoxy. Because this one, I put the vinyl on. I did not seal my India inks. I put the vinyl on, and then I put epoxy on it, and that was it. It needs one more layer of epoxy because it didn't seal right in some areas. One more layer of epoxy, and this cup is completely done. I did not seal my inks. They do not move once it's cured because the... It's in the epoxy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, this is only my third India ink cup, but I absolutely love the way they turn out. I mean, this one's probably my absolute favorite, but this one's, this one's coming in really close behind it. So if you have any questions, let me know. So thank you guys for watching.